regions of federal judge bounds as the New York Police Department and engage in a widespread practice of unconstitutional and racially discriminatory stops and frisks and ordered a collaborative joint remedial process. Damn, we can stop the frisk for no reason. The numerous times I have been stopped by the police. My hands is up and they keep telling me to put up my hands. I had this feeling it was over. A joint remedial process is a project that is created to engage community members in brainstorming and suggesting additional reform ideas to NYP stop and frisk and trespass enforcement practices. Communities who have been directly affected by these practices help shape the future of stop and frisk for New York. The judge highlighted the importance of getting this input, writing at the same time, no amount of legal or policing expertise can replace a community's understanding of the rights and practical consequences of reforms in terms of both liberty and safety. Stop and press, in a sense, degrading because it's always, uh, you said the description, and my question to them is, what's the description, a hard-working Latino? Floyd challenged NYPD's use of racial profiling and unconstitutional stops and frisks. In 2010, Davis challenged NYPD stop question and frisk policies and trespass arrest policies and practices in public housing. In 2012, Lagarde challenged NYPD's criminal trespass enforcement operation clean hall. So they ran up on me, threw on a wall, dropped all my stuff, and I got with my kid. We're targeted. We're looked at differently because I'm black, that's all they see. It might sound crazy, but being a black man in New York City, man, sometimes it's kind of, you know, you might get a little shook about just walking down the street. Courts found rampant racial profiles. You have a constitutional right to safely tell the police to stop and frisk is still constitutional. I think the police should have some sort of training as to how to deal with certain situations appropriate ways to stop and ask questions rather than stop and demand. More education as to how to deal with the LGBTQ community, but also outreach events where they get to personally interact with the community. The police officer that I met that was really respectful, I've always looked out with the police since I was a kid, his name is uh, Officer Scott. He would always be like, Ray, you know, if you ever need something, you call me, you know, he understand what I was going through, he became a friend. He calls me sometimes and just, hey, Ray, this is Officer Scott, you know, how you doing? The JRP is designed to solicit ideas for additional forms from reforms from the communities most impacted by stops and frisks. In addition to community stakeholders, the process will involve the city, members of law enforcement, and attorneys representing plaintiffs. Leading this process is a court appointed official who judges the list. The New York City Police Department starts to engage in reform efforts in collaboration with an independent court appointed model that includes revised policies on stopping first and trespass support, development of new training, evaluation and documentation materials, 